Imagine if you could shine a light of insight on today's Empower customers so that they no longer underestimate the cost of the status quo and the benefits of change. You wouldn't have to chase these empowered buyers down the road of commoditization and discounting because you would know how to sell value and differentiate your product by delivering insight. And as your customers discovered the unique value of your product on their own terms, you would achieve higher win rates, shorter sales cycles, and higher margins. We believe this vision is possible. In this e-learning, we're going to show you why we believe it's possible, and then we're going to show you how to do it. In part one, we'll show you why we believe salespeople must deliver insight to sell value. We'll then give you five reasons why insight scenarios are the lowest risk and most effective ways to deliver insight. In part two, we will show you how to create an insight scenario and then you will complete an exercise where you will create an insight scenario by completing the template. Part one should take approximately 35 minutes to complete and part two should take 12 minutes plus 20 minutes to complete an exercise to create a story. So in total, it should take just over an hour. So let's get started. Why do we need to deliver insight to sell value? To better understand why it's important to deliver insight and how the internet has changed complex sales, just ask yourself, what do you do when you're a buyer of healthcare? When you get sick, are you like me? Before you visit the doctor, do you go on to WebMD and self-diagnose and prescribe? So when then you show up at the doctor's office, all you really want them to do is write your prescription. And if the market for buying prescription medicine was truly competitive, wouldn't you also be looking for a discount? Well, don't you agree your customers do the same thing before they speak with a salesperson? Sure, for simple sales, customers can just buy online. However, for complex sales or complex medical conditions, Doctors and salespeople will tell you that customers and patients do not make very good decisions on their own. Imagine a doctor, for example, asking a patient, what's wrong? And the patient says, I was bitten by a mosquito and with this West Nile virus in the area, I'm concerned. According to WebMD, I believe I have the identical symptoms and the recommended treatment is penicillin. Hmm, I see, says the doctor. Let me write your prescription right away. Of course this would never happen. The doctor's job is not to provide patients with what they think they need. Doctors must provide the optimal solution. And this often requires doctors to challenge their patient's self-diagnosis. Doctors, for instance, have to retreat what their patients have learned online so that their patients end up with the right treatment. It's the same with complex sales. Why do buyers need insight? Well, just like patients, buyers go online and try and self-diagnose and prescribe. According to recent research, buyers can be 60% of the way through their buying process before they engage a salesperson because they prefer to do their own research online. These empowered buyers now approach sellers with an idea of what they need, what they want, and what they're willing to pay. The problem is that just like I don't have the time or expertise to become a doctor online overnight, buyers lack the time and expertise to form an accurate buying vision on their own. In the interest of expediency, buyers dumb everything down to where all offerings become commoditized. So the only differentiator is price. Unfortunately, what they find is that the dumbed down version doesn't solve a problem that the buyers don't fully understand. So they stick with the status quo or they buy the cheapest suboptimal solution. This is why I believe salespeople must shine the light of insight on the buyer's incomplete buying vision so that they can redirect the buyer onto the road of value and differentiation. So what is insight? And how do you create insight? 
To create insight, just ask yourself, where is the biggest gap between what the customer believes today and what they need to believe to buy your product? And then shine the light of insight on the unrecognized value. With this approach, admittedly, you're betting the customer has neither the time nor the expertise to self-diagnose or prescribe. So without a full understanding of the cost of the status quo or the future benefit of change, the customer will have a limited view of the value of your product.